Uh, thanks so much for joining me for the second episode of Data Dog's 10 minute talk show, Pup Corner. I'm Riley Stefano, the recruitment marketing manager at Data Dog. And each month I will be interviewing employees around the world to learn about the different projects they work on, challenges they solve, advice that they have, and so much more to give you the inside look into all things Data Dog life. Today, I'm so excited to be joined by Sarah Fox, an enterprise account executive for our Canadian market based in Ontario, who will pull back the curtain a bit to give us some insight into the enterprise sales team and what a day in her life looks like at Datadog. Sarah, thanks so much for joining me today. Thank you, Riley. Um, I'm really looking forward to this conversation. Awesome. So I would love to hear a little bit about your background. What led you into enterprise tech sales and how long have you been with us here at Datadog? Uh, really great question. So I, I'm not going to share exactly how long I've been in tech sales. There's no need to date myself, uh, but I do have lots of experience, uh, almost 20 years. And I was attracted to the field generally because I appreciated the opportunity to be in a, in a field that was always changing, always evolving, and the learning opportunities that that would afford me as, a, as an individual and as a professional. Um, so I began my career with Oracle. Uh, I departed, went to SAP, went back to Oracle, and what really intrigued me about Datadog after working for such very large organizations was Datadog's really unique approach to doing one thing and doing one thing exceptionally well. So although I really enjoyed and, and grew very much in my, my years uh, with Oracle and SAP, um, having a company that was really product first and really committed to being customer centric in all of their R&D that they do in terms of providing value in the platform is really what drew me to the organization as a whole. Um, so I've been here now approximately a, uh, one, and, one year and a quarter. Um, it is incredibly high, fast paced. Uh, you hit the ground running, um, but I love it because the ecosystem of support at Datadog uh, like really from Dan uh, right at the top all the way down to like the, the team that I'm working with on a daily basis. Um, it's just really an ecosystem of, of support and education and really driving to kind of like tier one results, which I love and invigorates me daily. I love that so much. And one thing that you touched on that I'm so curious to hear more about is around that customer centricity. So give us a taste of a day in your life and the customer base that you work with and why that, you know, why our customers are so important to us here at Datadog. Oh, no, great question, Riley. So uh, again, from my experience, so where I'm working currently or whom I'm working with currently right now uh, are primarily uh, Canadians, uh, uh, Canada's kind of tier one financial services accounts uh, with a smattering of some of our, uh, our top kind of technology companies as well. Mm -hmm. What I love about how we're able to drive customer centricity, I think is really kind of best illustrated in our approach to roadmaps. Mm -hmm. So we're not, we, I was surprised when we came, when I came on board and realized we didn't have a very rigid roadmap um, three years, five years out. Uh, but the fact that we don't, I think, speaks to that customer centricity because it's really about listening to the market and then pivoting to the market. And then we're able to respond to market demands and, and market customer requirements because we do have such a, like a strong a release cadence cycle. So mm -hmm. I think to answer your question about how we're customer centric, I think that's best illustrated in the fact that we, we're not committed to a roadmap and it's our way or the highway. We're really uh, responsive to customer demands. But then more importantly, um, like within the enterprise space that I'm working with today, our customer success team and the, the caliber of our customer success team that we partner, that I partner in um, management of these accounts, we're driving value, uh, responding to questions and any issues that may arise in the, the kind of the quickest turnaround time I've ever experienced as a sales professional. I love that. And you know, one thing around our customers that I would love to learn more about, especially with the impact of the world right now, we're in the midst of this global pandemic. COVID-19 is here full-fledged, and obviously our customers have been impacted by that. As we think about that roadmap and just where we want to kind of go and grow and continue helping our customers, how has your role changed with that impact of COVID, and how do you continue to find success during these uncertain times in helping our customers? Yeah, no, it's... um. 
I mean, it's an important question because it is a challenge. It's a challenge. COVID has been a challenge for everybody globally, uh, professionally, as well as personally. And what I've seen um, um, was that there was an initial slowdown in, in the first kind of quarter of COVID. Uh, but subsequent to that, I think Datadog is uniquely in a really strong position uh, because we do enable digitization and modernization. And what I'm seeing with our cust my customer base is that they're actually doubling down on digital. So recognizing that there really has to be new engagement channels for these large enterprises to engage with their customer base. So it's given me the opportunity to work really closely with customers on some really exciting kind of modernization uh, journeys and, and projects. And um, in terms of like how it's changed, I actually feel that there's almost an, uh, like an improved element of intimacy to a certain extent. Mm -hmm. um, because although we're not meeting in person, uh, we are meeting in our pajamas sometimes as we're working through projects and <laughs> we're eating lunch like sloppily sometimes together over Zoom. And it's really created um, a, a different sort of intimacy than we would have had previously. And then um, it's the opportunity to be able to help customers really accelerate their path to modernization, which COVID has really kind of helped trigger for them, especially I'm seeing that in, in the last quarter. So hopefully that answered your question. Was, oh my um, gosh. If, if, I love that. I love that you're having meetings with customers <laughs> in and over lunch. I, feel that I do the same thing. Have I just finished up lunch before Sarah and I jumped on this awesome talk show uh, episode. So I absolutely love that. And, you know, kind of segueing into my next question about, you know, we've talked about our customers. We've talked about that centricity that we have around the road mapping that we build and the conversations that we have. What else do you love about your job here? And just what do you enjoy most about working at Datadog? So I, I think that's giving that some thought, Riley, it really kind of circles back to what led me to want to get into software to begin with, right? Which is the evolution of learning, um, being able to always like impact customer kind of outcomes by having a platform that drives value. And I mean, since I've been here, I think we've had over 60, guaranteed we've had over 60 releases or enhancements. And mm -hmm. so just even within the, the platform itself, my ability to learn is always there on a daily basis. Um, what I also really appreciate about Datadog and why I'm enjoying it so much is our enablement team mm -hmm. from like onboarding, which I guess will be different now, but I have from that it's not in person any longer, but from onboarding to all of the kind of enablement sessions that are continuously rolled out, like seemingly weekly, mm -hmm. um, are incredibly high value and they're helping me be a better rep for our customers and they're helping me grow um, from a technical uh, understanding as, as well as from a professional understanding. And um, it's that opportunity to continue to grow here that really, has solidified my like commitment to staying with Datadog. I love it. And I can absolutely attest to that uh, onboarding experience. I actually started six months ago, right as COVID hit and went through our amazing sales training and onboarding process with the enablement team. And I was blown away at their ability to just adapt to this new normal and remote world that we are in and still just learn so much. The, the crash course that we get in one week about the cloud, cloud computing space, monitoring our sales methodologies and processes and how we find the success that we have at Datadog is just so remarkable. And the fact that they were able to translate that to this virtual experience and not lose any of that incredibly pertinent information, I just thought was remarkable. So I so appreciate that. I also love the learning culture here. And, you know, I guess to wrap up, I would love to hear from you about advice or tips that you have for candidates interested in applying to Datadog. We are hiring in the enterprise sales section and department as well as in Canada. So your thoughts on, on what they can do to really make themselves stand out. Yeah, it's, I think it's more, if somebody is thinking about joining Datadog, it's important that they understand where they want to go with their career and what their daily operations look like. Um, again, we're a very high performance organization. Uh, we continue to uh, grow substantially quarter over quarter and that takes discipline. Mm -hmm. um, it takes discipline, especially working fully remotely due to COVID. So my advice for people who are considering Datadog is 
consider what type of career you want to, where you want to go from a career perspective. If you're looking for an organization where growth opportunity is, is extensive um, and you're looking to be able to really help drive results for the bottom line of an organization, uh, that is Datadoc because we are not, we're small enough, we're not a small company, but we're small enough where your daily contributions really drive impact. Um, but that said, it, it, it does require discipline in terms of your engagement models, your prospecting, your mo models, um, being able to follow our kind of our disciplines around medic and uh, command of the message. So all of which I've tremendously benefited from, um, but that would be my advice is to really consider what type of impact you want to make in your career. And if it's, if it's a, a substantial one and you really want to drive to, to outcomes that are reflective across the organization, then Datadog would be the right fit for you. I couldn't agree more. And I absolutely love that response. And with that, I have to say that's the end of the time that we have. So Sarah, thank you so thank much you. for joining me on this episode of Pup Corner. Our enterprise sales team, as I mentioned, is actively searching for talented sales professionals all around the globe. So come join us on this rocket ship as we continue to grow and disrupt the market across Canada and the world. If you're interested in learning more about the role or applying to Datadog, make sure to check out our careers page at datadoghq.com backslash careers or connect with myself or Sarah on LinkedIn for any follow-up questions you might have. So thanks for watching and we will be back next time to hear more about hashtag Datadog life around the world. Bye.